Hey there, and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Rose Wilson from Teen Titans Go. I'm going to start with the eye on the left side with the upper eyelid. So we're going to draw an angled line from the outside coming down in towards the center of the face. Like that. From this end, we're going to step over towards the right so there's a slight overlap and curve, almost like a half circle, along the bottom of the eye and coming in so there's a gap on the inside. On the outside, we want to draw a little bit of an eyelash. So just down here, we draw an angled line going out. Now from that end, we want to taper down towards the bottom of the eye, coming down. So we're creating a thick sort of eyelid. We're going to color that in black as well. Underneath this line, we're going to draw a half circle for the iris. So starting up here, we're going to curve down and then back up. On the left side here, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. So inside the iris, we're going to draw a smaller half circle for the pupil. So curving around behind the highlight, back up. We'll color that in black. Let's move over to the right and draw the eyelid on the right side. So leaving a gap in the middle, we're starting the inside, we're going to angle out. From that same point, we want to angle even flatter for the eye patch going outwards. So there's a slight gap there. Now from the inside to the outside, we want to curve down to the same height as we have on the left for the bottom of the eye patch. Going down, back up, and we're going to color the eye patch in black. We're going to add the scar in behind the eye patch here. So just on the top here, we're going to curve up and in, and we'll taper back down. We're going to do the opposite on the bottom here. So we're going to curve down, and then we'll pull that back up. In between the eyes, we're going to draw on the nose. So it's basically like a little arrow pointing towards the right, coming down across like that. Now we're going to draw a frown. So mouth curving from the left over towards the right. From here, I'm going to start with the left side of the head. So I'm going to start above the left eye here, curve around towards the jaw. Now I'm going to draw some hair bangs moving over towards the right. So from this point, we're going to curve to the left, and we'll curve back up, tapering upwards. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction, curving down, and then back up. Then we'll do another one. So we're going to draw a small curve going out, and then back up. Now with this long bang, it's going to go over the right eye and just extend past the eye here. So we're going to go out over the eye and out to right about there. Let's draw on the right side of the head. So we're going to take this curve and duplicate it on the right. So right here beside the eye, we'll curve down towards the jaw to the same height. Now here we're going to do a hard turn down to a point for the chin. So right here we're going to curve across and in. We'll go back up on the right side, curving up. Let's add the eye patch strap. So from this corner, we're going to go up underneath the hair bang with a straight line. And then down here, we're going to go right into the jaw. Let's continue with the hair. So on this side here, we're going to start on the side and draw a curve coming down the side of the head past the jaw. Now we're going to draw a few little hair strands. So going up, come down, taper back up. We'll do one more point. So coming down and then tuck this in underneath the head. On the side of here, we draw an ear, so a little curve going out and then back in. Let's take this and flip it over on this side on the right. So right beside the head, we'll curve down and in. We draw those three little points for the hair strands. And then one more right here. Pull that back up. You can see a little bit of the ear lobe on the right side. So here we're just going to tuck that in underneath. I'm going to go back and extend this line just a little bit further. Now I'm going to pull this up to the top of the head. So the top will be about here. So right here, I'm going to curve up and in. We're going to draw another strand coming over this way. So from this point, curve out. Now this is going to go up in towards the part of the hair. So going up, I'll we'll pull that into right about there. Let's add some hairs up here. From this point, I'm going to curve up towards the right. Now I'm going to pull this down towards the side of the head. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction here, curving out towards the left. And I'm going to pull that back in. Draw another hair strand on the side of the head. So I'm going to pull this to the side of the head and go back up. Now, going on the side of the head here, I want to draw a little wave going around the ear. So I start by going straight down and then out around the ear and then down. I'm going to pull that up just close to the ear there. I'm going to finish off the hair after I've done the body. So let's work in the little collar here. So on either side of the chin, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. From here, I'm going to curve towards the center, curving down and in going up towards the right side. If 
from these corners, I just want to slope down the shoulders. So coming down at a slight angle. Now we're going to layer in the shoulder pads. Now I'm going to have the arms coming out towards the elbows, in towards the waist. So right here I'm going to overlap this with a straight line. Going on either side. Now we're going to work with this angle of the shoulders. So from this point, I'm going to curve to the end of the shoulder pad, going out this way. I'm going to go to the top and go in the opposite direction, curving out. Now we're going to connect those two points with a slight curve. And then add two little rivets on the corners. One at the bottom, one at the top. Let's do the same thing over here. So I'm going to work with this line, curving to the end of the shoulder pad at the bottom, curving in the opposite direction on the top. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Now let's add those two little rivets on the corners, right there. Let's work our way down the sides of the body. So right under here, I want to draw a curve going out from underneath the shoulder pads. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction for the chest, curving down and in, curve down and in. Now we're going to work our way down the waist. So stepping in slightly, we're going to curve down and in. So it's a tight little waist here. We'll connect those two points with a curve for the bottom of the belt. Going across like that. We step up and draw that same curve again. And then just in the middle of the rib cage, we'll draw another curve to separate her top. On the sides here, I just want to add a little trim. So from this point, I'm going to curve across. Do the same thing on the right side. We'll add two little lines on either side here, just for a little bit of detail. Let's work our way down the legs. So in the middle here, just down here, I'm going to draw a short little line going across for the lower torso. From this left point, I'm going to draw a straight angle line coming down towards the back of the knee, coming in like that. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Angling down. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and round out the thigh. So from the left side, we're going to go out, and then we're going to pull it into the same height as we have on the inside. Go back up to the top on the right, and curve down towards the same height as we have on the inside on the right. Up in the thigh area, we're just going to split the legs, so curving across on both sides. Now for the knee, we're going to draw these large knee pads. So intersecting these two points, we're going to draw a line going across. We'll come down, it's almost like creating a square with a slight angle to it. Close off the bottom, we're just going to close these little gaps off there. And then inside, we're just going to trace a smaller square inside, like that. On the inside part of the leg, we just want to extend a little strap coming out like that. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So overlapping those two lines, come down with a slight angle on both sides to create a square, and then we'll create a smaller square on the inside of the knee pad. And then again, we're going to draw the little strap on the back. Let's work our way down the lower legs. So from this point where the strap meets the knee pad, I'm going to curve down and out. Same thing on the right, so curving down and out towards the heel. Now we're going to draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we want to draw a curve going across on both sides. This. Now we're going to square off the toe. So here we're going to go straight up with a short line. Do that on both sides. Now from here, I want to curve the top of the sole to the inside part of the leg, working across like that. From this toe on the left, we're going to angle up, going up like this. Now we want to draw a little strap going across the foot. So from here we're going to curve back, leaving a little gap there. From here we're going to go up at a slightly higher angle, and then draw that same curve going across. Now we're going to close this gap with a straight line. We're going to color that in black. Now we want the strap to overlap the shin guard. So from this corner we're going to step over towards the right, and sort of go up and angle in towards the knee. From here, we're going to curve across, just below the knee pad. Now we're going to angle this down in behind that strap, like that. Now to close off this gap, we just want to draw a little angle line in behind there. Down below this corner of the shin pad, we're going to step down and just draw a curve for the top of the boot. And in the shin pad, we're just going to draw two angled lines to create some detail. In behind the strap, just down here, we'll draw an angled line to the top of the sole. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. So we're going to start with that angled line the top of the boot first, going across. Now we're going to draw the bottom edge of the strap. From here we're going to angle up a little bit steeper. On the inside we'll go up as well. And we'll connect it with that curve. Let's color this in black. Now from here we want to step in from that corner and just angle up the outside face of the shin pad.
curve across the top. Now we're going to come straight down to that strap. We'll draw two lines separating it. And then from the knee pad to the shin pad, we'll just draw an angled line to close that gap off. Up here, we'll draw a curve for the top of the boot. And then in here, again, so right here, draw an angled line coming back. Let's fill in some areas with black. So right in here, in the calf area, we're going to color this area in black. Do the same thing on the right side. And then in this lower thigh area, we'll color that in black as well. Same thing on the right. Right in the lower belly here, this is black as well. So we're just going to fill that in. Let's work our way into the arm. So we're starting on the left side. She's got this big arm guard on the forearm here. So starting from this corner of this chest, we're going to angle down and out. We're going to draw the top edge of this arm guard. So we're going to overlap this. So the arm from the shoulder goes to the elbow in towards the wrist. So we're going to overlap and draw an angled line going across like that. Now let's draw the ends of the wrist guard. So from here, curve out. Now on this end, we're just going to draw a straight line. We're going to taper a curve going in towards the wrist. Curving in like that. Up here, we're going to draw a straight line for some detail. And then three little rivets inside here. Going across. And then in the center, we'll draw a straight line. Split this in half with a straight line. And then we'll split this area with a straight line as well. Let's draw on the outside of the arm. So just from this corner, we're going to step down and curve towards the elbow. So we're going to curve it down to about there. And then pull this in behind that arm guard. We're going to color this area in black. Now we're going to finish this off with a fist on her hip. So from this corner, we're going to step down and just draw a straight line in towards the hip. Right here, we're going to draw a little curve for the back of the fist. Just stepping in, we're going to draw a little line coming down. And then again, going over a little bit, we're going to come down with an angle and then pull this in behind the hips. Let's go over to the right side. So from here, from the chest line, we're going to angle out. Now we're going to angle in, we're going to go straight in towards the waist. Now we can go right on to the outside of the arm. So we're going to step up here, angle out with a slight curve. We're going to curve this back in towards the wrist line. So we're going to draw on that same fist. So we're going to curve in, get a little bit narrower as we get in towards the wrist. Now here we're going to draw that little curve for the back of the palm. Step up from that point, draw a short angled line. We're going to move over again, draw a line coming out. This is for the back of the finger. Pull that into the waist. Up here we're going to separate the gloves. So drawing a curve from that inside of the elbow. We'll draw two stripes in here. One, two, and then we'll color the arm in black. Now that we have the body in place, we can finish off the hair. So the hair comes all the way down, about halfway down the legs. So right over here, we're just going to start with a little spike of hair coming out. Going out like that. Let's go over to the right side. So underneath this ear, we're going to curve out. Over here, let's draw a little hair spike. We're going to pull that back in. Now the hair curls back this way. So we're going to start from here, go around the arm, and then continue down with a curve in behind the leg. We'll draw a little hair spike down here. So we're going to curve in towards the middle. We'll go back towards the left with a slight curve. We'll curve back up behind the right leg. This is going to go all the way up this way, but let's add a little hair spike here as well. So we're going to curve back. Now from this point, I'm going to just draw a gradual curve going over, aiming towards that point. So going around the elbow, and then we'll just gradually aim towards that point there. 
And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Rose Wilson from Teen Titans Go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Teen Titans Go playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.